Hello, this is COVID from Lego to the Max. This is going to be what happens when you find a box of Lord of the Rings Lego sets laying on the street. Well, let's get started. This is the main thing we got here, along with instructions, a book, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, now this is going to take a little while, but it's okay, okay? So, this started with a really funny story, actually. We were driving down a neighborhood, humdy dum -de dum when we found this clear box with Lord of the Rings, so we took it home. Well, I'm not a big fan of it, but I decided, hey, why not? It's a Lego set. So we built it, and we got this. Okay, let's get started. We have a gate and a watchtower, and they're removable from each other, actually. Now, let me show you how. I always have trouble with this when it always breaks free. See? They're separatable here. And just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to take it off. Okay, now I have to take out that one. Okay, and now we can get started. Okay, let's start with the gate, gate itself. It has a locking mechanism that allows you to lock and unlock it. Let's see, locked, unlocked. The doors can easily swing open. I'm gonna leave it locked because it's supposed to be a gate that is locked. Here we have a skull, a torch, and a bottle. Sorry about the Monster House reference there. Okay, and this is supposed to be a barrel with filled with nothing, but we didn't have a barrel filled with nothing, so we got a crate filled with bones, which I think is just as good. Here we have a skeleton arm, then we have the old skeleton arm, and I'm gonna get into the differences of the differences of that later. Hint, I'm foreshadowing. Okay, next we have the gate itself. It has a mechanism that allows you to open it. Hello, how are you doing? That was Corona's uh, arm giving me some assistance. See, you press this thing and it opens it up. And now we have the pit of death. There, see? Can you get a good view of that? Okay, next we have the ammo shed. Zooming in even more so you can get a good view of that. Okay, now I'm zooming it out completely. Okay. Now we have a catapult, which you may have noticed earlier. Okay, fun fact, like everything else in this set, it's removable. See? Removable. That's noticeable right over here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we've been having a lot of trouble with the camera and getting it to work. It refuses to cooperate. I think I'm going to have to have one of my arms hold it. Okay, yeah, see. Okay, this is what happens when you try to shoot. Or when you shoot, it's supposed to go the other way. Sorry, that that that, that was better that second time. Okay. And I want to move on to what else we got. Here's instruction manual one. Let me turn off the flash. So that way you can get a better view. We're supposed to have an undead horse, Aragorn, Gown of the White, the Great Eagle, and the Mouth of Sauron. I know none of these characters because I haven't watched the movies or the books, but if you have, good for you. Okay, here we have your friends, enemies, and some random people, like, like, uh, like, as a random, non-specific example, I'll pick Gimli. That's also foreshadowing, you'll understand what I mean later, okay? And here's the set itself, and it's combined when you buy two of it, okay? Now I'm moving on to instruction manual number two. Okay, because we found this on the street, of course it had to be missing. Well, it's the instructions are in pretty good condition minus this one page that slid out. So that's a tragedy. I'm gonna skip to the end. Here we have this screaming kid. I don't know why he's screaming if he's got these Lego sets. I don't know. Maybe they're the ones he didn't want. Here we have the old Max holding a Lego Club magazine. Uh, there's Chima. Okay, that's apparently I'm being told this isn't important. We've got the Hobbit. We've got uh, a link for Lord of the Rings things. See, you've got all your characters. I don't know. Try that. Try that link. See if it still works. And if so, good for you for being an overachiever. Okay, we have a boat here. Let's read this up a little bit. We have the boring council being about a boring ring, and we have Gandalf the Gandalf the Gray versus. Uh, Sauron, who sort of looks like Gandalf the White. I can tell them apart by their beards only. Okay. 
So other than that, these instructions are in mainly pretty good condition. Okay, now let's take a look at the box real quick. Okay, let me straighten out the box. We've got uh, showing you more of the features that go on, like being able to try to climb under it, like it's a rat tunnel. Uh, there are weapons, which I don't think are to scale. Another thing, you see? Okay, look, this is more for foreshadowing, and I've probably done a job of showing it. I need someone to hold it for me right over there. Okay, thank you, Corona, who is always ready to lend a helping hand. Let's see. Let's see. Real quick, let's see if we... No, it's not a match. Okay, that's too bad. Okay. Now I want to tell you about what minifigures we got. I've been foreshadowing this for a while. But if you've probably caught on, you've realized we've got two skeletons in Gimli. This makes no sense, because full skeletons are not supposed to be here. But, uh, here are the minifigures. We have a skeleton. This one's mine, because it's got a long sword. And this one's Coronas. See? And they have wobbly arms, because they're the old skeletons. Not compared to the new skeletons, which... Nowadays have bendy arms but they don't flap around like crazy like they're go driving down a lane totally insane right okay see here's the arm comparison one straight one bends okay now i want to move on to gimli these are the axes he came with but the real axe is supposed to be this see a shorter axe okay now let's talk about Gimli, who everyone exactly adores. He's everyone's favorite character. You can always count on Gimli. Okay, here we have his helmet with decorations here and there. Uh, then we have his head. And he's got a braided beard. Some people braid their hair. Gimli beards. Gimli braids his beard. Okay, well, everyone does that too, I guess. Then he's got a harness, a belt, and a few pouches here and there. See, it's kind of hard to tell what his expression is due to the fact that his head is being practically covered everywhere. So, yeah, that's the bad thing about this minifigure. We figured out this guy actually comes from the boat set I might have shown you earlier. Due to the fact that we have this. It is a sail, and sails are used for boats. So he came in the boat set, and not the Born Council meeting set. Because why would there be a sail in a council meeting? No one sails in those. Okay, and that's about an end to this video. See you next time, and stay tuned for more videos, which are coming soon. Like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Especially like and subscribe and share with all your friends. That's what I'm going to say. Bye.